I'm Lynn Ahrens, and I wrote book and lyrics for Little Dancer. I'm Stephen Flaherty, and I composed the music for Little Dancer. Well, everybody asks us what comes first, music or lyrics. It's a classic question, and I think our answer is usually um, what comes first is talking together. Um, we talk we, a lot. We, we talk a lot. <laughs> we sit in the same room a lot. Even with the, you know, computers and Skyping and everything else, we tend to get together in the same room. We talk, we drink coffee, we gossip for a good hour and a half, um, and then we get to work. And sometimes it's lyrics first, sometimes it's music first, but um, it's it, sometimes we improvise, almost like a ping pong game, back and forth, um, throwing ideas around, and, and something usually bubbles up out of that. And this uh, project is unique in that it's not an adaptation, it's an original idea. But when you're dealing with an original idea, there's so many different ways that story could could go, and, and also the fact that it's, a set, it's ballet centric, it's about the world of the ballet, and so really from day one, uh, we were lucky that we were able to work with Susan Stroman from really the first day. So not only were we discovering the characters and the songs and what the sound of the score would be, but also uh, interfacing with Stro from day one to, to find different ways that dance could tell the story, as well as scenes, as well as songs, and uh, that was, really really exciting so it's a it's a it's a really amazing and interesting collaboration for us it's a little di out of our um, normal way of working in a way to have a director on board from day one and she's been such a a wonderful um, collaborator for us so so it's enhanced and enriched our collaboration I think I, I just feel like I've been living and breathing this this piece for for quite a while and I'm I'm thrilled that we finally have this incredible cast that we're sharing it with. They give you information. You know, it's an interesting thing. If you cast well, uh, each of the actors have uh, a lot of ideas about their character. Uh, and it, also, I'm doing all the vocal arranging, so it's the first time I hear it sung. And everybody is a unique uh, instrument. You know, so I'm writing for the human voice, so that always changes. And, you know, I get so many ideas just from hearing them you know, sing. And as we as we go forward with rehearsals and as they start getting up on their feet and moving and speaking, um, everything will is up for grabs. You know, you'll you'll I know I will be cutting a line here and changing a line there and I, I just added several new ideas um, just yesterday actually. So, you know, it is a living breathing organism and uh, we're all part of it now. I just feel so honored to be working at the Kennedy Center presenting the show. I haven't been this excited for a very long time and uh, I, I'm, just, I'm just thrilled uh, that we're going to be doing this piece of art that's about a piece of art that's about the creation of a piece of art and, and I, I just can't wait to roll out my sleeves and get rolling on this. To be doing an original musical at the Kennedy Center is kind of a dream come true and what we thought we wanted for this project when we first began it. We last worked at the Kennedy Center in 2009 where we did the revival of Ragtime and it was one of the all-time great experiences and just the the level of commitment that the Kennedy Center puts behind the productions and the musicianship and it, it, it was such a great experience that we thought how can we possibly top that and I think the only way we could is to is, come back is to come back and do an original <laughs> show that was a yeah. revival yeah. it was a wonderful experience but this is a, a brand new uh, American musical that we're doing the world premiere at the, the Kennedy Center and it's thrilling.